Hello again, and welcome back to D and D and Me. We are on the Revenants of the same book I've been reading from for the last several hours. <coughs> this one does not have really any lore, but it has like a little note that uh, is written by some characters uh, from the Nord games. So I'm going to go through the stats and then read the little note. This one is called The Failed Revenant. It's a medium undead and chaotic evil, has an armor class of 13 leather, hit point average of 153, 18 d8 plus 72, it has a movement speed of 30 feet, strength of 20 plus 5, dex of 15 plus 2, con of 19 plus 4, 15 uh, intelligence plus 2, wisdom of 17 plus 3, and charisma 18 plus 4. It has proficient saving throws of Strength plus 7, Constitution plus 7, Wisdom plus 6, and Charisma plus 7. Proficient skills in Insight plus 6 and Perception plus 6. It's resistant to necrotic and uh, psychic damage and immune to poison. It's immune to being charmed, exhausted, frightened, paralyzed, poisoned, and stunned. It has dark vision up to 60 feet and a passive perception 16. And it knows the languages it knew in life. It has a challenge rating 8, 3900 experience points. It has three, four abilities. Uh, one of them is deadly attacks. The failed revenant rolls its weapon damage dice an additional time and adds a result of the to the damage total. This bonus is already included in its attacks. Uh, the second one is deathly rage. At the start of its turns, a failed revenant can choose to gain advantage on all melee weapon attacks. Melee weapon attacks. If it does so, uh, attacks against a failed revenant have an advantage until the start of the next turn. Regeneration. The failed re uh, revenant regains 10 hit points at the start of its turns. If the failed revenant takes fire or radiant damage, this trait does not function at the start of the failed revenant's next turn. The failed revenant's body is destroyed only if it starts its turn with zero hit points and doesn't regenerate. It has turn resistance. The failed revenant has advantage on saving throws against the, any effect that turns on dead. And then it has multi attack, and it can make two attacks. It has three uh, attacks or three abilities, yeah, three attacks, uh, the Great Axe, it's a melee weapon attack, plus eight to hit, reach of five feet, one target only, 37 average, 5d12 plus five slashing damage, it's Fist, which is a melee weapon attack, plus eight, reach of five feet, one target only, 22 average, 5d6 plus five bludgeoning damage, and then it has a Grab, which is a melee weapon attack, plus eight to hit, reach of five feet, and it's one medium or smaller creature, the hit is a uh, the creature is grappled, escape DC 15, until the grapple ends. A failed revenant can't grab another target, but it can make a fist attack into the grappled creature uh, as a bonus action. I just imagine just like punching the back of your head for some reason. I don't know why, but it looks pretty creepy and it's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm going to read the little lore bit. Boss said it was an old fort was safe bet, so we holed up there and kept a lookout. Sure enough, Brunil stomps up the path and bold as you like, skin all flaking off from lying in the river. Give him up, he shouts, and the rest of you won't be harmed. Well, we snuck him full of arrows as he made for the gates, and that was the end of that. Next day, and up comes another corpse. Give him up, and the rest of you won't be harmed. This one damn near touches a gate before we bring him down. Well, come day ten, we was out of arrows. Cork, bandit, count of a revenant attack. And I'm assuming that's the failed revenant. Uh, not Cork, but the creature they were attacking. But... Yeah, that this one's really cool. I like the idea of it. I like the abilities of it. It's got a lot of health. Does decent damage. I might add this to my little uh, <laughs> mummy idea. But thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you'd like to see me do anything here on this channel. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.